What's up guys, today we're going to be checking out the top 5 micro drones for 2016. This is in addition to my previous video where I checked out the top 5 drones with cameras. If you want to check that out, that will be up here. But this video is going to be just about the best micro quads. On that note, all of these are quadcopters. None of the hexacopters or octocopters made the cut for the top 5. So when I say drone, I do just mean quadcopter, which means it has four arms with four propellers. Coming in at number five is the Axis Arius drone. I believe the company's name changed. It used to be Axis drones, now it's Ariex drones. But the actual quad here is the same. This company has two quads that made the top five list. So we're gonna be seeing another one from this company in just a minute here. Some great features is that this is a super fast flyer. It does some crazy uh, maneuvers. It can uh, go super fast. It's one of the fastest drones that we have on this top five list. The Axis Aries drone is the fifth best quad on the market for 2016. For prices on all of these drones, you can just click on their respective links in the description below and you can find the up-to-date price for each of these. Coming in at number four is the Proto X. This is an awesome quad. I've had this for several years now, actually, and it still flies like it once did right out of the box. So it's super durable. Battery life on this one is one of the best, and it's retained its battery life through the years. I've never had to replace anything. With all of these, the props can be replaced, which I've broken a few, or they pop off, so you occasionally lose a few. I 3D printed this blade guard here just to protect the props in case you run into something um, or if you're bumping up against a wall it can continue flying without crashing. So this is a super durable quadcopter. Uh, it's actually difficult to break any part of this. It's really just an awesome quadcopter. Moving on to number three is the Teeny Drone. So I have done several videos with the Teeny Drones, as you can see right here. Uh, these are super, super fun, very affordable uh, quads, pretty similar in their flight to many of the other ones. The one difference that Teeny Drones has over all of the other competitors is that the remote controller is huge compared to all of the other remote controllers. You really have like great control over your quadcopter because it really is much easier to fly when you have a controller that you can fit in your hands and compare it to one of these. Look at that size comparison there. Uh, so this is basically the size of almost all of the other drones and then this is the teeny drone. So this makes it so much easier to fly and also if you're a beginner it's going to feel so much easier because you're not going to have to be all crunched up with a teeny tiny remote controller trying to fly a teeny tiny drone. At least something here is reasonably large. Number two is the Protocol Video Drone XT. So this is by far the largest of the micro quads here. This is debatably a micro quad. It's difficult to tell because this is not like a large drone, but it is like quite a bit larger if you take a look there. Some great features about this one is that the battery life beats all of the other drones simply because it is much larger. The other thing is like if you take this outside in the wind, it also does better because it is simply larger. The motors are quite a bit larger, the propellers are larger. So overall, since it is a little bit larger, it's easier to learn how to fly and maneuver it around because you can tell the orientation much better than a super tiny quad. A great feature is the two megapixel camera on the front of the drone here. Not the best quality, it's not super wide, but it does do fairly decent video. It also has built-in prop guards, which are great if you are just learning out. And they're durable, they're pretty flimsy here, but like they don't break, so really awesome. Also, the remote controller here is by far the most advanced with uh, different switches, uh, camera buttons. Um, also, this means that you can fly your drone farther away because the signal on this is much better. All right, now the number one micro quad copter drone on the market right now happens to be the world's smallest. 
This is the new Arius drone. It is, at the time of posting this, for 2016, this is the world's smallest drone. I do have one here that was a pre-production model for um, Arius drones, um, so it doesn't have the logo, but these two are basically the same. This is the final product here. Uh, they fly surprisingly very well for how small they are here. Battery life is about the same as the other ones. If you look, the battery is about the same size. The battery takes up the most space, um, and everything else is just super, super small. It's truly incredible that they are able to manufacture a drone this small in mass production because there's just so many tiny components that have to go with this. If we take a look at the controller, this is definitely uh, one of the coolest ones because it has a little door here that you can open and then plop your drone right inside just like that. So if I'm not mistaken, uh, there aren't any other controllers where you can just put your drone inside. There are a couple of Chinese knockoff kinds where you can do this, but this is the first drone where you can put your uh, drone inside the remote controller, which is just awesome. Link to check this guy out is in the description below along with all the other ones. All right, so here are the top five micro drones for 2016. Comment down below if I missed any of your favorites. Uh, it was really tough whittling it down to just the top five. There's many, many companies that are just starting out, uh, especially in the micro drone world. So it's gonna be a ton of fun seeing the evolution of these micro drones in the future. My prediction is they're just gonna get smaller and last longer and more durable in the future. I've done several reviews of each of these drones. I did a special video on a quick tutorial how to fly a drone using the Teenie drone. If you want to check that out, that'll be up there or in the description below. I think that's all I've got, and as always, don't forget to keep it pro.